time is winding up. This old world is a mean world. Folks don't care how they treat you. This old world is a wicked world. Mother against daughter, father against son. This old world is a wicked world. Folks don't care what they say or do. And time is winding up. Praise God, praise God. We thank God for Jesus. Amen. We know that this is a fallen world. This world is a fallen world. Praise God. Amen. All the troubled trials, all the difficulties was never God, was never God's idea. Oh, it was never God's idea. Sin brought on the problem. Amen. Amen. Sin. Praise God. God loves us, but he hates sin. Yes, he does. Praise God. We thank God for Jesus. Call a neighbor, call a friend, tell him. Uh, shake your husband, shake your wife. Tell them that the watchman is on the wall and there is a word Amen. from the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God for Jesus. We're excited this morning, praise God, just to be alive. Amen. Yes. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we realize God didn't have to let us live. That's right. Hallelujah. So we need to rejoice. We need to give Him thanks and give Him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you. so many have gone into eternity. Mm -hmm. But the Lord, if you listen to my voice this morning, the Lord has blessed you again. He woke you up. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know we take a lot for granted. But I tell you, God don't have to let us live. And He would still be God. That's right. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father, we thank, thank you, you. We Lord. praise you. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you majesty, we give you riches, we give you power. Yes. Lord. We bless you, God. Bless your name. Come on, somebody, help bless me to lift name, him up. Bless Hallelujah. Your name, bless your Come name. on, lift him up. Give him glory. Glory. glory, glory give him glory. praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's Hallelujah. worthy. Come on, get your mind on Lord. Yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Get your mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Get your mind off the problem. Get your mind off the, the difficulty, the yes, situation. Lord. Yes. And get your mind on the solution. Jesus, Jesus is the solution yes, for every yes, problem. Yes. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah God, we thank you. We thank praise you. Lord. Bless your people now. Bless Somebody's people. waiting. Oh, God, to hear touch from you. Right now. Somebody Lord, need a touch Lord. right now. Lay your hands on them. Yes, Lord. In the name of Lord, Jesus. Jesus. Say that I rebuke you. I come against you by the power of Almighty God. And I command you, I will ask you, I command you to loose your hopes. Loose that boy, loose that girl, that man, that woman. I bind your forces, I bind your influence. Loose. loose. Come out of the mind, come out of the will. Yes. The blood, the blood, the blood prevail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, Thank stretch you, forth the nails, God, hand. Touch, heal, and deliver. God, Thank not you. because Thank we are worthy. But God, there's nobody else to call. You're the only one, the only one that Lord. cares for our soul. We yes. thank you. Thank you, God, Lord. for your son, and your son gave his life. We thank you for this great salvation. How can we escape if we should neglect so great salvation? God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. You've done everything that you promised you would do. Hallelujah. And we give you glory. And we give you praise. Yes, we Lord. bless your name. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, glory to God. Come on, my friends, join in with us and lift the name of Jesus. Lift him up. Yes, For he Lord. said, if I be lifted up from the earth, he would draw all men unto him. Lord, draw somebody today. Open somebody's understanding. Let the light of your word come forth today. In the name of Jesus, bring somebody out of darkness into this marvelous light. Oh God, let somebody be healed. Heal the mind. Heal, heal the Lord. will. Heal, Lord. heal the sin-sick soul. Heal today. God, you are the bomb in Gilead. You are the physician there. Heal now. Even while we pray, somebody need a healing. In the name of Jesus, we ask God, you promise whatever we ask, in the name of Jesus, you would grant it. Grant it today. And we promise to give your glory to none other, but give it all to all you. Indeed. In Jesus' in precious Jesus and name. mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. We thank God for Jesus. Thank God for you. You and you listening this morning. Praise God. I want you to know we appreciate. Praise God. You're tuning in. Praise God to the yes, broadcast. Yes, yes. We let you know. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We want you. We ask you for your prayers. 
pray for us. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That God would get the glory in and through our lives. Amen. Amen. In the name of you. That God not only would bless us, but make us a blessing to somebody. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Now my wife is coming, Dr. Irene, with a scripture and an announcement. Bless you, honey. Bless you. Uh, praise the Lord. All those listeners that are listening out there, we thank God for you, you and you, for how you uh, let us let us know that you are listening. And, and those who are watching on YouTube or uh, Facebook, we thank God for you also. We get calls from out of state that people tell us that they are watching uh, uh, on YouTube. And we just thank God for you. Uh, to mo this morning, um, our scripture will be coming from Jeremiah chapter 1. Verses 4 through 9. That's Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 9. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in thy belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee, I to, to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then said the Lord, Put forth thy hand, and touch my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Now, our Christian Fellowship is located at 2827 Highway 30, Clayton, Alabama. That's Highway 30 in Clayton, Alabama. 36016 is our area code. 36016. We have Sunday school every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Every Sunday. And we have morning worship every Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. Every Sunday at 11 o'clock sharp a.m. Wednesday at noon they pray. I'm telling you, prayer is awesome. The prayer is going forth there. Whether you're at work at home or at, at play, please remember to pray. And please, we want to pray for the sick, the shut in, the lost, those who are incarcerated, those who are veterans, those who are on the sick bed of affliction. Remember to pray for them. I know someone to pray for us on last Wednesday. We went. We had an uh, accident last Wednesday on Highway 30. Amen. I'll and tell you. I know that God's hand was upon us Praise as God. we came down Highway 30. He hadn't been long entered into the uh, across the over into uh, Ufala borderline. And uh, our, our truck hydroplane had a trailer on the back and it went over into a ravine. Uh, it, it just, we didn't tumble, didn't flip or anything, but God's hand was, was uh, there. on us. I there. tell you, so I thank God for the prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer really works. I it tell works. You. God it works. protect us, and we were uh, left. We left out of that truck. It was pouring down rain without a stretch on us. But Praise God, God. Hallelujah. God, come on, rejoice with us! Yeah. God's hand was on us. God, God no glory. I tell you, I know He's a protector. I he know He's there he all the time, all the time. <laughs> all the time. So Praise keep God. us in prayer as we go forward with the Word of God. Because the enemy don't want the Word to go forward, so he wants to destroy us too. Amen. So we thank Amen. God for you who keep us in prayer all during the week. Uh, and also remember our Bible study on, on uh, Thursday night. Bible study starts at 6.30, and we are going forward with the Word of God, and we are enjoying the Word every Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. We also would like to, for you to know that on May the 30th, we are having a... A uh, blast off uh, fun day for the youth that starts at 5 o'clock, May the 30th, right there at the community church. Blast. A community blast off for the, kids. For the children. Uh, and we ask you to uh, don't just sing your children, but to bring them out. Amen. Let them Amen. have a uh, beginning of the fun filled uh, uh, summer. day, summer. We're going to have just that one day uh, blast off in the community for the youth. Amen. It starts at 5 o'clock. It's at 2827 Highway 30. And don't forget on June the 7th, the mark your calendar for the banquet, for the scholarship banquet, which will be held at Shiloh Baptist Church in Clayton on King Street. Pastor Straw is at um, uh, Shepherd there. Uh, we have tickets. The tickets are $25 each. And we also would like for you to know that we're giving out three scholarships to $1,000 each. For three uh, students already that have uh, written in and their essay, 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 
essay. So we thank you and we pray that you will be there to uh, celebrate these students. Support. support them. Amen. That's our announcement. Please govern yourself accordingly, according to what's been said. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the announcements. And praise God. And please keep the, uh, the community blessed for the young people, the children. Praise God. We just want to uh, be a blessing to them, uh, the community. Praise God to kind of give them a send off for the summer. We will be praying for our young people that God will protect them over the uh, summer holidays. Praise God. And we thank God for uh, the little trip we took yesterday to we're, Montgomery. Yeah, we're representing praise God. Uh, Forte. Representative Forte. Praise God. We had a wonderful time. We enjoyed ourselves. Praise God. But I heard Pastor Green speak about the voting. My friends, we we as a uh, people, uh, this is a, the, one of the only places that we can really show uh, that we have power when we come together to vote. Amen. That's where the power is, is in the vote. And many people have been have died because of the vote. Amen. Many have been beaten and dogs have been, been put on, oh. on people. They've suffered. Our people have suffered mm -hmm. so much, praise God, to get have the right to vote. Amen. Let us, praise God, use yeah, that, that privilege, that opportunity that uh, I believe God has given to us because there are so many do not want you to vote. That's true. And that should make you want to vote that even, mm -hmm. even more, mm -hmm. praise God, because they can't block the vote, praise God, unless we allow it. So please get out to the polls and get your... Your registration. registration card. Make sure you have all your, ID. your IDs and everything. It is so important, my friend. Amen. We can't, praise God, reiterate too much on getting out to vote. Praise Amen. God. There's a lot of problems that we have in Alabama that could be solved, praise God, if we would show the power that we have in our vote. Mm -hmm. God bless you. May heaven smile on you. Uh, last week, praise God, we started, praise God, in that uh, solid rock. Praise God, uh, uh, some information that we was given. And I believe that we as pastors, uh, we are ob it's an obligation that God has put on us to get out into our community certain information. And we call it pertinent in information. In information that is very, very important. Praise God. And this information, we're going to start uh, probably from where some place we left off last Sunday evening. Praise God, talking about abortion. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess maybe it might have upset a few people, but if a people, somebody's upset, it's only because they, it's a lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. But my friend, there is there are so many lies that have been told, praise God, about uh, abortion. Abortion is murder. Mm -hmm. That's and I want to use that. It's no, you, you and I were not an accident. God has ordained Praise God, even from the very beginning. He told Adam to be fruitful and multiply. Adam and Eve, be Amen. fruitful Amen. and multiply and replenish the earth. Amen. But the devil has been trying ever since, mm -hmm. praise God, to stop, praise God, children being born. Amen. My friend, it is a catastrophe mm -hmm. that is going on in our world. And what I'm talking about is that there is a child that's dying from abortion every second. Every second that your clock ticks, mm -hmm. a child dies from abortion. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something, I say again, it is murder. I don't care what Washington or whoever say or the laws they're making to telling you that after a certain trimester, if a first, second trimester, it becomes becomes a, a person. No, it is a person. We're going to prove it through the Word today. Amen. That we become people, praise God, even before we get to our mother's, mother's womb. Because here in Jeremiah, the first chapter of Jeremiah, we want you to write these scriptures down, especially the believers, mm -hmm. because the believer is the one that God gives the power and the ability to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, cry loud and spare not, lift up your voice as a trumpet in Zion and show my people their transgression. People have to be shown because they have been lied to, they have been deceived, they've been tricked, 
Praise God. And somebody said, if you tell a lie enough, people will believe it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you this morning, my friend, abortion is murder of the worst kind because these children are innocent children. Amen. But listen to what uh, Jeremiah said. The first chapter of Jeremiah and the fourth verse, it said, the, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. My friend, what do that mean to you? Jeremiah is saying, God is speaking to him, and he said before he was in his mother's womb, God knew him. And before he came from his mother's womb, he was ordained a prophet mm. to the nation. So that means that the devil, he knows about the, many things about these prophets and these teachers and these pastors and these uh, apostles that the devil is seeking to kill. Amen. And many of them are dying. Yes, yes. So my friend, what I'm saying to you this morning, we need to be aware of it and we need to speak the truth about it. Mm -hmm. We need to tell our daughters, tell your sons that sex is not for singles. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, praise God, will not tell their children that sex is not for singles. The Bible said for this purpose, in, in Genesis, the first chapter, it said for this purpose shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife and they twain shall become one flesh. Mm -hmm. In order, praise God, for a pers person to have the, the freedom and the liberty in having sexual relationship is in marriage. It is in marriage, my friend. And the thing about it is, the Bible said, faith cometh by hearing. If we don't tell our children, if we don't talk to them, praise God, they won't know. They won't know the difference. Because all they do is see, look around and see what's happening in this world. Mm -hmm. And a lot of murdering of children is going on. Amen. And we can do something about it. My friend, this is, my wife is going to give something here now. Read the, read the thing you was reading last. Okay. Uh, is abortion wrong? Prior to Roe v. Wade, Supreme Court decision of 1973, about 500,000 illegal abortions were occurred. 500,000. Occurring uh, per year, each year. By 1975, over 1 million babies were being aborted in the United States. Today, about 1,500,000 uh, babies are being aborted each year. That's over 4,000 4, babies per day and nearly three per minute. And my husband says it's one per second. It's a little out of date, but it's like one per second now. So it's increasing. There is an increase of the killing of babies. Now, I know the law, what the law is saying, uh, only to a certain stage in, in, the, in the pregnancy that a mother uh, is, is, is the, 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 in other words, they call it a fetus that it becomes a person. No, we just read the scripture. We become people in, even before you get uh, in your father's mind or your mother's mind even to have a child. God knows us. Mm -hmm. God knows us. And we have a scripture about how Elizabeth, what is the scripture that we was reading about Elizabeth, how Elizabeth, how John the Baptist leaped in Elizabeth's womb when Mary told her the good news Praise God about the birth of Christ, that okay. she was pregnant. Okay, let me get before you just Go right ahead. 93% of the abortions in America are, are for convenience. That's convenience. That's because a person is so busy wanting to, to go on with their career or, or want to have fun that they conveniently abort children. The mother's health is an issue only 3% of the time, and the baby's health is an issue only 3% of the time. Rape or uh, incest are uh, issues only 1% of the time. And that's only 1% is rape or incest, the issue in abortion. 93% of all abortion in America are performed just because someone doesn't want a child. And that's why Pastor Ware always say, why have sex if you don't want to get pregnant? Why have sex out of wedlock? In, in, uh, that sex is not for singles. Because most of the time, most of the time, and I'm saying all the time, that is 
a single children. And I tell you from experience that that I had that even I I say I was married at that time. My first husband is deceased now, but my first husband uh, and our second child took me to an abortion clinic to abort our second child. But God, but, but God, God, but God did not see fit for that child to be aborted. Child didn't die. Wouldn't die. Wouldn't die. I mean, they gave me an objection and everything. And the child, I sit there and I cried and I cried and I cried. Because I did not want to have abortion. And he wanted that child aborted. But God did not see fit for that child to be aborted. She's a beautiful mother now. She is. She is a beautiful young lady now. She uh she has three children of her own. And I thank God that that, that child was not aborted. But it wasn't for the grace of God. That child will not be here, and and, I, and and so many, so many mothers. Many times, I, I, I know that many mothers are guilty because of the shame. Praise God of, of uh, your daughters, uh, someone having a baby at an early age, and because they're ashamed, they take them to places of abortion and get that child. In other words, have the child killed, killed in the womb. That's the worst thing, the worst kind of murder there is. Is is destroying a child in the womb. And, and there are a lot of young men that, that get involved with women sexually that don't want to have children. And uh they they take the girls to the to the abortion That's clinic right. too. That's right. And uh, uh especially the sports jocks. They don't want to get their life turned around so they they say no we're gonna abort the child. And sometimes women do listen to it and uh, uh I tell you the truth if we would just take heed before that happen and let children know that sex is not for singles. Let them know not to Tell get them involved. Early. Tell, them early. Tell them early. Amen. And there's a, there are four basic types of abortion being performed in America today, while two more types may be added to, in the near future. First, there's abortion of the suction type of abortion, and there is uh, the unborn child. Uh, this is the unborn child literally being vacuumed from the mother's womb during the early stages of pregnancy. I think it's the fourth trimester that they're trying to say that a uh, child become a child, but it's a person. Uh, become a person. But it, but the Bible does not say that. We can have different reasons, uh, scripture to tell you that the Bible does not say that. Then it says uh, the current uh, type of abortion is where the child is cut from the mother's womb with a spoon-like object. Then it says a, a fourth type of uh, 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 abortion is a uh, C-section operation. The baby is surgically removed from the mother's womb uh, and allowed to suffocate because the child's lungs aren't developed. The fourth one is the uh, type of abortion is the salt bring uh, like a saline solution that's being given to the mother uh, to kill the baby. There's um, a lot of debate over different ways of why they how they kill and abort children, but they are children because God. Okay, okay, and there's currently much debate about the partial birth abortion. This is where a child is partially delivered, then stabbed in the skull. Maybe so still alive, still his, alive. his or her brain sucked out of the skull. That's heinous. Mm -hmm. That's it, heinous. There is also much talk about the RU486 abortion pill from France. This pill works by inhabiting pregnancy hormone and normally used within seven weeks from the conception. At the present time, this pill is illegal in the United States, but there is much political pressure to make it legal. See what is happening, my friends, in Radio, in radio Land today, is that we have been lied to, people have been lied to, and many parents never told their daughters about uh, abortions, and they never taught them. And this is the job of the Titus II mother. It's time for the mothers and the grandmothers to speak up. Get your children, sit them down, and tell them that sex is not for singles. Tell your daughters about abortion. Now, we're going to pray for those, praise God, in Radio Land today, or whoever's listening today. If you are guilty of having abortion yourself, and I know I'm talking to somebody that had, because the Spirit put it on my heart. Somebody who have, is guilty of, of, of murder, killing your baby, killing your child in the womb. Well, I don't want you to be upset about it because God is a forgiving God. Mm -hmm. He will forgive you for what you've done. And He will pardon you. And one thing about it is, God loves you. Let me, uh, and, and, and uh, to prove that, 
that uh, a child is a uh, Luke Luke the first chapter verse thirty six it says and behold thy cousin Elizabeth said she also conceived a son in her old age and and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren uh, and then it says in verse forty one and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of, of Mary that the babe leaked in her womb. Six months old. Okay. It didn't say that it was a fetus. It said the babe leaked in her womb. All right. The baby heard the salutation too. Mm -hmm. The children that your children can hear the voices of people talking because they are a person even before they are in their mother's womb. And, and we just can't stress this enough. Praise God, because of what's going on in our world. Mm -hmm. And my friend, if, if we would do what we can do now, when you didn't know any better, then we can understand. Mm -hmm. Praise God, you can't, you can't do what you don't know. But when you know better, you do better. Mm -hmm. And it's time, my friends, that we do better. These babies are being murdered in the womb. Mm -hmm. And my friend, one thing about it is now, those that are listening... Listen, you are not ignorant anymore. We've given you a, a, a couple of scriptures, and we even have more scriptures, praise God, about a child is a, is a person even before they get to their mother's womb because God has ordained it. Amen. Children don't belong to the parents anyway. They belong to God. They are an heritage of the Lord. So we need to understand. And now God gives these children to us Praise God to train them up in the way they should go. Mm -hmm. And when they are old, they will not depart. And when the time for us to let them go, we need to learn how to cut the cord, as we say. But my friend, we, we are trying to stress to you this morning that we would get this word out. That there's people are murdering these children. It's murder. Yes. I don't care what you call it. I don't care what the, even, even the doctors, they know about it. They know what's going on. But yet it's still many of them won't speak up. Because the devil has them bound. Let me give another scripture before you get off. Uh, it says Psalms 139, uh, uh, Psalms 139, verse 13 to 16. I won't read it all, but it says, uh, For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. This is David. Mm -hmm. I will praise thee. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest part of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance. David wasn't even born. He, he told me God saw him before he was born. Amen. Yet be it unperfect. And in thy, thy book. In other words, his, his name was already in the book. Mm -hmm. All my members was written, which in continuance was, were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Mm -hmm. Even before he came, God, he said that God had written his, por his inward parts in the book. Mm -hmm. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me. Oh God, how great is the sum of them. If I, that, that, we're going to leave it at that, that God. We're going to pray. We want to pray for those that have a, a bit, have aborted children. And we know you out there, or you know somebody. But if you have been involved in having an abortion, my friend, we're going to pray for you now that God would forgive and that He would heal you. Mm -hmm. Because it is a curse. Mm -hmm. It's a curse, my friend. Murdering, killing children in the womb is murder. And we need to start calling it what it is. Mm -hmm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you know everything. You know the end from the beginning. You are the first and the last. And we know, oh God, that you know all about what you are doing. Stretch forth your hand today. And now, my friend, if you are there in Radio Land, you need God's forgiveness. Just ask Him. He said, ask and you shall be forgiven. Just ask Him now, Lord, forgive me for my sin. Forgive me, oh God, for this thing that I've done. And God, come on, just receive God's forgiveness now. And Lord God, stretch forth your nail scarred hands and heal these women. We know they're there. Yes. Because you told us they're there. But touch now. Satan, I rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Loose your hope right now. The blood is against you. Lord, send forth your healing virtue and heal now. Mm -hmm. 
We promise to give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. God bless you. May heaven smile on you. Is our prayer. Amen. And for the last 30 minutes, you've been listening to Dr. David and Dr.